Another member of the greatest generation gone but never forgotten. Bob Rogers was a World War II veteran right here in Louisville. You know his son is the announcer for U of L Sports. Well, he sat down with Brooke Hash, sharing why he's comforted by his dad's final days. He wasn't on the front lines, but he was in the thick of the battle. It's a story the younger generations will only know through a history book. But Paul Rogers heard them firsthand. He's a handsome man. Holding tight to a photo album from his dad's honor flight trip to D.C. I accompanied him on the flight. Just a fabulous day. He, he, he loved it. A World War II veteran. I served from April of 1943 through uh, Thanksgiving Day of 1945. Drafted into the Army. All of us at that age knew that at one time or another, soon we were going to go into the armed services because everybody was. Bob Rogers came home from the war and never looked back. He was part of a special generation who just went to war, did what they were asked to do, and somehow those who lived through it managed to tuck that away in some secret compartment never to dwell on and go on to live productive and happy lives. He married the love of his life, started a family, and made a lifelong career in mechanical engineering. The thing that was most fascinating to me that he did, when nuclear submarines first came out, they had to figure out a way to keep the air breathable because they could stay underwater for so long. They couldn't come up and get fresh air. So he was involved in the design of CO2 scrubbers, they were called. It took the carbon dioxide out of the air. But at home, Rogers was the world's greatest dad, a man who loved his Kentucky Wildcats despite his son calling games for the cards. The two shared this moment during an interview in 2013. It's a real pleasure to listen to him. I, I, you go to some of the games? Uh, no, I, I, I'd rather stay home yeah, and watch sure. him and listen to him yeah. on, on radio. Got it's, the comfort it's, of your home and got your yeah, son doing it. Huh? It's, it's really uh, enjoyable to listen to him and makes me very proud. He'd continue tuning in until his final day. He told us he was ready to go be with mom and um, within 24 hours he was. The last thing he did, my sister was with him, he told her what TV channel to put the TV on to watch the U of L game. Told her what radio station to put on so he could listen to me, and they were listening to me when he fell asleep. Then he died the next morning. So maybe I was the last thing he heard. I don't know. In Louisville. But we'll miss him for sure. Brooke Hash, WHAS 11, on your side.